Well, it is late May, and I am headed out bear hunting for a couple days. Should be a good time. Uh, the weather's supposed to be pretty good for the next couple days. But the main thing that we're going to try to do on this is I am self-filming this with my cell phone, which you can kind of see in my sunglasses there. But I'm going to self-film this entire hunt on my cell phone. And kind of the idea was that you know we could show you guys that you don't need all this crazy fancy equipment and everything that you can still document your hunts and show you know share it with your friends and family by just using your cell phone so I think my wife's gonna go with me for maybe a day or two um, but I'll probably be solo for a lot of this but yeah so Hope you guys like this and hopefully um, we can turn up a bear. What's the chances that we see a bear tonight? 85%. 85%? Yeah. That's, that's good. I like those odds. Yeah. That's just to see a bear. What's the odds of shooting a bear tonight? 90%. 90%? <laughs> Holy crap. Your odds of shooting one are higher than I know. your odds of seeing one. I know. How does that work? It's just got to roll with me. Okay. I'm, I'm rolling with you. We have the 90 percentile to kill a bear and only 85 percent to see one. <laughs> So we just got up to the spot that we're going to be glassing from. We're going to give it a couple hours. It's about five o'clock right now. It doesn't get dark until like nine. So we'll see. The weatherman was apparently wrong. It is now starting to rain. I just checked the weather and said it wasn't supposed to rain until 9 o'clock, so, sweet. No bears yet. Did see some mule deer. And a mountain biker came by. But other than that, pretty slow. Well, it's about 8.30 now, so I think we're gonna start packing up and get ready to go. No bears tonight. Well, we are headed back to the Bear Woods. It's, uh, it'll be like my second day. We had a day kind of in between. It just rained literally all day yesterday. It looks pretty. It's hot today. It was like 76 degrees when I got out of the truck compared to like 55 degrees when I was in here two days ago. No rain, blue skies, beautiful right now. So we'll keep making our way in here. Wow, we are finally set up. I'm sweating like crazy. Kind of got into a different spot, kind of came down the ridge a little bit to see somewhat different areas. I mean, you're still looking at mostly the same area, but I kind of wanted to get it from a different angle at night.
All right, so I was just trying to do some, a time lapse of uh, just me glassing and stuff, and I just spotted a bear. So I'm gonna try to get some footage of him. Yeah. That stump, it's just past it, it's right at 340 from where I'm at right now. Luckily, I could, I could move if need be. I could cut off 200 yards if that bear decides to get into position and it looks like one that's worth taking. It's a pretty bear, that's for sure. It's a pretty bear. Standing in that same spot now for I don't know, probably five or six minutes. Good for the camera. Bad for the hunter. But it's only 5:30 right now, so we got well, over three hours. So one of the things that I want to talk about that we haven't talked about yet is obviously I'm self-filming this hunt, but I'm doing it with my cell phone. And the reason we wanted to do this, you know, we kind of came up with this idea. Michael actually came up with the idea was, you know, show that you guys at home can do this as well. And, you know, as long as you got a decent cell phone, and you know i'm using obviously a spotting scope with a phone scope adapter to get that footage when it's you know that bear was when i say 340 yards or so away you can get that long footage with the with the spotting scope but then you can get most of your other stuff with just a cell phone so doing this all on a cell phone you know i'm shooting 4k because i do have an iphone but it's not like a really new iPhone it's an iPhone XR or whatever iPhone 10 so I mean it's a few you know a few years old so but you know you guys can document odds as well when you're out there and share them with the world you know share them with your friends family I mean that's that's the main thing is just document the hunts but I wanted to kind of cover that to say why it was such a cluster <laughs> when I had started that time lapse I had to stop it really quick of me glassing because I found a bear but I haven't seen this bear in about 10 minutes or so but like I said I mean I've got three hours give or take till dark you would think that this bear would pop out somewhere I mean there's a lot of green grass over there So one of the things that I would say is a definite must if um, you're going to be videoing your own hunts, one of these little things. This is just a dark energy one, but some type of charger, it's actually hooked up to my phone as we do this because I've been here about three hours or so and my phone was already down to like 20%. So if you're going to try to video your own hunts, which I recommend. I mean, have fun with it. Um, definitely want to have some type of backup charger. Well, that's the end of day two. 
I'm gonna get my stuff together here and then uh, yeah start easing my way back to the truck so. well third afternoon getting all my stuff together there but I'm gonna head up in here and uh, I don't know hopefully see a bear hopefully see that bear from last night get a better look at it like some other bear hunters are coming in here. Luckily they're going that way. Well, this is a first for me. There's four guys riding horses with a dog. They're definitely bear hunting. They're just riding horses along. There's no horse trailers in the parking lot, so I don't know where the heck these guys came from. Nothing this evening. I don't know if all this activity just kind of has things kind of shut down or what, but I mean, it's an absolutely gorgeous evening. Well, it's about 8.45. And I have yet to see a four-legged animal other than a horse <laughs> this entire afternoon this is the fourth afternoon of the hunt I just climbed up out of the big creek bottom and got on my little side hill trail here and just kind of easing my way up It's a wrap for afternoon four. <clears throat> no bears again, but finally did see some more deer, which is always nice. And I had that moose like 80 yards when I was walking out, which is pretty cool. But I'm uh, about to get back to the truck here and try it again tomorrow while well, I'm hiking in. <clears throat> and that moose. In the exact same spot that it was last night. It didn't move 15 yards, it seems like. Which is crazy. <clears throat> I've seen seven people since I've been walking in. Five of them were coming out, two were coming in. got to our glassing location it is 4 30 on the dot so we'll give it the next four and a half hours well that is a wrap for afternoon number five almost back to my truck here and as usual I'm the last vehicle at the trail which I guess is good that tells me there's not a lot of hunters in here well it is afternoon number six going back in here there's a lot of people at the truck and I'm looking at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen cars plus my truck so should be pretty busy in here. Maybe we'll get the bears moving. <laughs> well, we have got to the glassing point and drop off the ridge a little bit. The wind was coming up over that ridge and pushing down on this bottom. But once I dropped down, I don't know, probably 20 yards or so, now the thermals are coming up the ridge like they should be 
I've been sitting in the same exact spot right there for almost four hours now. I haven't moved. I've just been glass hard. Looking at all these little nooks and crannies hoping to find a bear pop out. If you would have told me a few days ago that I could have sat here after seeing that bear four straight nights or five-ish hours, give or take, each night and not have a bear pop up, not even just that bear, but like a bear pop up with all of this country that I'm looking at, I would have said there's no way. I would have taken a pretty substantial bet. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I mean, the whole premise was to show that we could film a hunt on my cell phone there. You know, and using regular video mode on 4K or 1080. Um doing some slow-mo stuff, doing some time-lapse stuff. You know, all of that goes into, you know, what tells the story of the hunt. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, even though didn't have a lot of bear sightings. But, go ahead and get my stuff going out, and heck, maybe we'll get lucky and find one. <laughs> as we're walking out here.